today I'm introducing you this Roblox game called The Wild West. Yeah, so this is pretty fun. I've been playing this for a few months, and it's it's actually been pretty fun. So, there's this whole concept of the game that is great. There's Bronze City, which is the main spawn point. So, like, and there's going to be updates. They constantly update it. That's the great thing about this game. Train station, and in the bank, you can hold all your valuables instead of carrying around the inventory. You also have 30 spots in your inventory. You can become a doctor. You can go to the saloon. There's guns, pistols, ammunition, all that stuff. This is where you buy your basic guns. And, yeah. You can also buy special ones like shotguns, TNT, dynamite, smoke bombs, and then rifles. Then, over here, there's the clothes, you can't do anything in there. Over here, you can repair, this is the blacksmith, you can repair a specific gun by getting by treasure hunting. Over here, the Worthington's General Store. It has pickaxes, so you can go mining. Axes, you can cut down trees. You have special stuff like miscellaneous, build tools, lassos, lanterns, shovels, binoculars, Tribal horns, torches, and knives. Knives. You can buy all this camp stuff, which you can go camping, which is cool. And then, here is the jail. Now, this right here, you can become a sheriff for free. This jail sounds down here. You can, and you can turn yourself in if you have a bounty. But the only way to get a bounty is to, well, like, you just have to hit P on your keyboard. And then, you become hostile, and you just that. That's one of my friends, so he's fine with it, I think. Oh, well. I died. Dang it. Okay, that's cheating. Actually, I guess not, but... Okay, so the gun system in this game is really... Corpse. So, no, don't, don't, no, 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 do not kill me. I am trying to do productive stuff. I hate you in a lovable way. That sounds weird because you're my friend, so don't question that. Okay, well, um, he is gonna stay over there. So, you can also go mining, which I've told you about. The first one that you will probably go to is called Go Copper Gulch. And in here, he's following me. In here, you can mine coal. Now this sells for $20 each. It isn't that profitable, but you can still make some money off of it. Next, oh, I heard glass breaking. Next, there's a zinc. Now, I have the best pickaxe, so it's gonna take longer for new people. This costs, you can get $40, oh crap. Seriously? And then there's copper. You can sell this for $30. Now, you can get gems in this game. There's sapphires, rubies, um, what else, diamonds? Thinks I'm stupid. 
I can literally see that there's a TNT charge. Oh, he did it. Yes! Now, my friend is like really, really, really good. So, I barely win duels against him. Now, there you get two rifle spots, or one rifle spot, two sidearms. I have all auction weapons, except for my rifle, which, there was a rifle, but that was too OP, so the developers just got rid of it, and now he's coming back for revenge. Hiya there, buddy! Okay, well, um, that happened. <laughs> okay, now he's just, whatever. Now, there's also this spawn called Porto Dorado. There's another saloon, jail, uh, furnace, which took the blacksmith, sawmill, what else? Ah, there's a general store, a stable for horses, a post office, which technically can access your bank and more guns. So, for the horses technique, there's a mule. This is the worst horse in the game, but it's good for beginners. Then there's these, all of those good ones, but that's only the basic horses. If you want the really good horses, you need to go to the spawn named Callahan Manor. Now, there's a train station and general store here. Ah, oh, come on. Stop trying to kill me. Okay, well, um... And here I'm gonna do this fast. You can get all of these except in the mule. mule. All of these cost ten thousand dollars, but they're really good. My friend has the Mustang, and I have the Hungarian half-bred. Seriously, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Everything is fine. Okay. Now also, there's Halloween, which and they fun. But there's general store. Guns and ammunition, salute, but then this is where you get auction guns. This is where you get auction guns. So, you get an instrument, I guess. Trade ticket, which is used later. A flu, kukri, it's a machete. Lancaster pistol and fiddle. Now, there are way more. Like, what I have, I have the prototype. Six bullet pattern. Very good. And yeah, I'm trying to get every single auction gun, which one of them has been discontinued, so now I can only trade for them. Speaking of trading, you have to go to Porto Dorado. In the general store, there's this little secret. Go past here, go into here and into here. Now, this is the black market where you can trade, but I don't have my trade ticket with me, so I can't do it. Or, I can't open it. Now. There's also this spawn called Reservation Camp. This is a quiet tribal forest. Right over here is this thing called Silvertown. And, yeah, you can sell your stuff in the general store. And in here, you can hunt deer and bear. Yeah, and... Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, here's a deer. Now, I suck at aiming with this Hartford rifle, which is the rifle that I have. But, my friend somehow... There. And it drops meat and a pelt. Oh no. Okay, well, there's also game passes. You can buy, like, Ragdoll. Which I just ragdolled. But here's the important stuff I need my friend in Bronze City. But he has a bounty. So, friend, come to Bronze City. Where's my friend? 
Friend, where are you? Whatever. But in here, you can also get Thunderstruck items and Scorched Pelts. Scorched Pelts, you have to kill a Thunderstruck bear. It looks pretty cool. Then there's Thunderstruck trees and Thunderstruck cactus, cacti. And, yeah, I don't have any trees or cacti, but my friend does, and he's not here, so he can't help. And, yeah. So next is the wood cutting, but I'm not going to really go over that because that's kind of boring. Next is the game, like, I don't know what to call it. Physics, mechanics, whatever. Guns. They're great. And there's animation, so like, if I went to first person. The reload animation is so cool. Then for this one. Okay. Also, there are multiple weather types in this game. Which... Oh, also, you, okay, I'm getting off track. But there's stormy, raining, thunder. But you can also go into first person with V. Okay. Okay, so this is a Thunderstruck Cactus Juice. It sells for 3,000, but you should keep it because very good for trading. Friend, do you have any trees that are Thunderstruck? Okay. Well, he can also hear me because he's creepy. So yeah, this that's basically this game. And I hope I have enlightened you people. Oh wait, he, you do? Oh, he wants me to talk about the event stuff. So right now is the Halloween event because they delayed it for a long time. It's going to December. So you can get Mile 3 Lightning, which is a gun, but yeah. It's, it's a regular gun, but better. Then there's the Cult Sawdoff and the Cult Mule. These are shotguns. So, give him up. Er, that's the light you can see on the little thing. It has lightning, so, fan it by holding F. And then there's that. It's a shotgun, it's two shots, and. Yeah. So next, you can get blood of animals and a cult blade, a skinwalker spear, a flood lantern, a lightning recurve bow, a skinwalker bow, skinwalker bones, jaws, skulls, vial of lightning essence. So yeah, that's the event stuff, and there are a lot more events than just the Halloween event. There's, oh no, there's Halloween, there's Christmas, and then they update it regularly. And some things they keep in the game. Like, this Halloween event, they had, what was it, NPCs? Oh, and there's, there's a UFO. Now, they get struck by lightning, and then if you kill the aliens, you get this really, really good gun. So, yeah. This, my friend is asking how many Patterson navies, that's the most expensive gun in the game you can still get.
Okay, he wants to do a model three lightning duo, which whatever. Okay, I'm gonna we start at 115 seconds left. Wait, don't go. Okay. Now I'm going. I hit none of those shots. You can also practice your aiming skill. Yeah, he got me. You can practice your aiming skill. Okay. Now I'm gonna get him. I said I'm not gonna help him on this one. I just wanna see how this goes. Oh, my friend's a hider. Oh, seriously? Oops. My friend died. Well, I died. Well, that's basically this game. I'm glad that I could show this to you, and I hope, I hope you guys could like enjoy this game. Yeah, the mechanics are very, very cool. But, um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great. Wait, wait, wait. I have improper outro. Thank you for watching, and. Ah, uh, whatever. What do you want me to wait for? Why does my friend want... <laughs> okay, well, um, thank you for watching, and have a great day, all you people. Thank you, and, uh, have a great day, and I already said that, but please, try out this game on Roblox. But not be played on Roblox, just... Okay, bye.